Okay, let's try to answer the question, why do we study probability? Uh, from an application perspective, this is to, to analyze um, in which fields we have uh, applications that we make use of probability theory and its variations. To, to be able to talk on this, we would like to go to the origins of probability theory and where uh, it started to appear on, on academic texts. And the first text, we see probability theory as, as a rigorous mathematical treatment is uh, due to Cardano, Girolamo Cardano, an, an Italian person, um, and it dates back to the 16th century. And at that time, obviously, um, we are not really technologically very advanced. And the first application of probability is to games of chance. Therefore, Cardano's book mostly consists of uh, applications of probability to die games and some strategies to use to, to come out favorably out of certain games. So it started with gambling. It's, it's really fair to say that the study of probability theory started with gambling, actually. But coming closer to today, um, what are other applications? Well, there is statistical mechanics and behavior of gases studied by Boltzmann and uh, similar people, uh, like how uh, the, the, the particles or the molecules of gases behave uh, when they interact or when they are um, um, a lot of uh, molecules interact together and uh, how they behave isolated in environments, how they behave with uh, other particles, etc. So they used probabilistic methods to, to study statistical uh, mechanics of uh, such uh, particles. And another application area is in biological models, especially with uh, population genetics and with, with part, what probability uh, should we see this uh, genetic behavior in um, uh, in either um, animals or other uh, species, etc., uh, or how likely is it to see this disease in this population, uh, etc. Another application area which is extremely important, especially nowadays, is economics and actuarial science. And in economics, the applications are, um, for instance, uh, one of the major applications is, can, can I predict uh, the behavior of uh, the market? Or um, how, how should I, for instance, invest uh, my capital so that I can maximize my profit? Because um, remember our definition of randomness, we cannot know beforehand how it's going to play out when I invest in some company or some other, or in some other um, instrument or financial instrument. Beforehand, I do not know what the outcome is going to be. I do not know what my profit is going to be. So what I want to do is minimize my risk and maximize my profit. Obviously they usually go in opposite way. So you, you need some sort of optimization, but to be able to do that, you have to know probability. Actuarial science has to do with um, insurance. And if you go to an insurance company and you want to buy a certain insurance, for instance, for your car, they would like to know um, how good a driver you are, which routes you take usually, um, how aggressive you are, what's your driving style uh, and your history. Have you been any accidents, major or minor, what type of car do you drive? And all sorts of data is used to produce a probabilistic model of the likelihood of you and well, your car actually being in, in a car accident, let's say. And based on that, they offer you a package so that they, the insurance company will be in the profit in the long run. Okay, so that has to do with probabilistic modeling. Um, another aspect is obviously logistics and operational research and the, almost the entire field of industrial engineering 
and operational research deals with probabilistic models. And it's, it has to do with planning and optimization of certain procedures. It could be a production, it could be delivery, um, any, um, any operation we can think of that has a large scale, an industrial scale, uh, has to do with optimization, but obviously you have probabilistic aspects because, for instance, if you are producing something in, in a factory, you need raw materials. But it's not just one material, you need a number of materials and they come from maybe different sources. And um, even if, even if you, you schedule them for certain points, they could be delayed, they could be um, of bad quality, they could be unusable. Uh, any, any type of um, accidents can happen in production. So that will affect your performance, that, that will affect your procedures. And not only that, but you also have people and organization of workforce is another thing. And you also have logistics. You have to produce your output. If you are producing something, people are not going to come to your factory and get it. You have to produce, uh, you, you have to distribute your output. Therefore, that's another thing to um, optimize. Therefore, um, uh, probabilistic, probabilistic models also play a very big role in those types of scenarios. Another thing is quantum mechanics. And I have to say, I cannot say even one thing that would make sense about quantum mechanics, to be honest with you. On the other hand, I know for sure that a lot of probabilistic analysis is involved in quantum mechanics, right? The, the, the field itself is filled with probabilistic approaches, probabilistic, uh, probabilistic uh, modeling and therefore even if I don't understand it I understand that probability theory plays a huge part in understanding uh, the behavior of subatomic particles and finally let's talk about uh, the major applications uh, because this course is taught in informatics institute or uh, electrical and electronics engineering or to, to a certain extent computer engineering students and therefore, uh, we can talk about the applications of probability in electrical engineering and informatics in general. And in communications, obviously, we model signals, communication signals in random, random environments. Uh, for instance, in waves in the air, or for instance, Wi-Fi communications or uh, cellular communications, they are prone to a number of effects coming from either communications of other people um, or um, other um, um, sources of electromagnetic radiation like uh, power lines or factories or household items. Or you can also um, consider the effect of noise that is uh, present in your wireless channel, or it could even be wired channels that you can model your signals because um, most of the time you can actually find uh, probabilistic models for propagation of signals in any channel. Or um, you can talk about computer processor and network performance. Um, for instance, consider a CPU, which has to execute um, a number of tasks Okay, and the, the nature of these tasks are unknown to the CPU beforehand because, well, they pop up um, with, with respect to the needs of the user, right? You want to execute the task, you start it, and the CPU is unaware of it beforehand. So uh, the, the size of the task, the requirements of the task in terms of uh, CPU execution and or memory um, usage or input output etc is random random in the sense that we do not know what they are going to be beforehand and you you have to optimize the performance according to a number of parameters uh, like the the sojourn time or the waiting time etc or the percentage of completion within a certain amount of time um, you can define a number of uh, objective functions. Um, therefore, there are um, analysis using probability theory to optimize 
uh, how a CPU should handle uh, those tasks. And uh, similarly with, with networking, for instance, consider an IP router. It receives packets that has to be routed to different destinations, but the router does not know beforehand what packets are going to arrive from which sources to which destinations in what amount and in what sizes. Okay, so you have to build your um, device as well as your routing procedure, your algorithms in such a way that um, according to certain parameters, it performs optimally, okay? And to do that, you build probabilistic models. Also, applications in signal processing, such as prediction, estimation, or filtering, or smoothing, um, and uh, obviously applications in image processing, video processing, multiple media applications, uh, all sorts of things, they require probabilistic models. Also, obviously, machine learning, very hot topic nowadays, and data science in general, make use of probabilistic models.